Hey everybody, Chrome Black 2000. Oh, let me wave here. Gotta get that wave in. <laughs> Chrome Black 2008 here. Coming back at you with yet another Let's Play Minecraft. Turning my back here because I don't want to show something yet. Just so you guys are aware, I did not want to bore you with this stuff. I went to record it. It got very slow, very boring, and I couldn't do it all in one take. So, what I ended up doing is I rearranged the gardens a little bit. I made some pumpkins, you know, of course I had some pumpkins laid out, but I started collecting them, I started turning them into jack-o'-lanterns, and I started lining around the gardens with them, each one. So that way it kind of lines up the, uh, it lights up the path towards the tunnel over there, and uh, helps the gardens grow a lot quicker. Like I said, I didn't, I, I, tr I went to record it, it just, it wasn't working for me. Not at all. Not one bit. I didn't like it. It was slow. It was drawn out. I bored myself. On another plus side, though, the villagers, I don't know if it was lag, a glitch, what have you. Uh, they just all of a sudden showed up. So... I don't know what's going on there. Not 100% sure. All I knew was, and I didn't really make mention of it, but all of a sudden it was like they were gone for a short. But they're back now, apparently. So today, let me make sure I got everything I need. Today I want to go through, and this one's going to, it's not going to be as boring, at least I don't hope, or I hope not. But we are going to take that, that uh, I, th I think it was a zombie spawner, and we are going to turn that into a death trap. Now, I've already marked off the area over there with that block. This is exactly, because I really wanted to know where it was, so I went down and tunneled my way up. But this is exactly, right up underneath here is where the zombie spawner is, where the little cage thing is. So, now that we got that, we know where that is, and I had to do it that way because I don't have my map anymore. If you guys remember a couple episodes back when I died, I lost it. But now that we know where that's going to pop up, or where all this is going to pretty much pop up at, we can uh, lay out a design for a zombie spawn killer. Try to get some, oh yeah, and I also cleaned this up too. And once again, this was, like I said, I tried to do a couple videos. I wanted to record it to share it with y'all, but it was just so boring that I just like, no, you know what, scrap that idea. We're not going to run with it. But we have a nice clean walkway right now. There, Well, from here on out, it's not looking like crap anymore, and we're not jumping around from side to side to side. And trying to get up the stairs i actually took a lot of the cobblestone i took out and made stairs with them as you can see so i already started this somewhat i just cleaned you know just put in the the, the little missing corner piece right here if you guys remember but here is our zombie spawner so what we're going to do at first what I think I'm going to do is, a, like, a, a it's it's not nothing new. It's actually an old design, not of my own. Uh, I will be the first to admit somebody else came up with it. Wow, that did not last long. I was anticipating it breaking, but damn. But I'm going to do a drop fall. Um, I'm not, I, I think I may make it low enough to where it just damages the zombies, so that way I can get uh, XP off from them. And right now what I'm doing is, you see this channel right here, I'm taking one more layer of stone out. One more layer, in case of those of you who have not seen a, how a, a drop fall, dead fall, I'm not even sure what specific name, if it has a name at all, kind of a thing we're doing here. But I want to drop this floor down to where, when zombies spawn, they can just, they can freely just go right up underneath that because what's going to happen is we're going to lay out some water over here as you will see i better take this out because we're going to need the step but uh the water will push them all over to a central area right over here i'm just hoping i have enough wood 
because I didn't think about making signs until just this moment. Because, yes, it's going to take signs. And we're going to... This is going to get dark, folks. Sorry. I apologize for the blackout. If you can't see anything, that's my fault. I don't have torches on me. Sadly enough, I'm just trying to push all the way to the top. Oh, we're hitting dirt. That's a good thing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine all the way back down and get these blocks off from underneath me. Going to make this nice, safe, and easy to do. Okay. Oh, are we at the surface? We're get, we got to be getting close. I think we're getting close, at least. I know. Uh, yeah, I hear a horse. Let me get, figure out which way I got this. Okay. Make sure I'm even all the way up. There we go. Now we're at the surface. Now we're cooking with gas. We have light. You guys can see. And I'm sure everybody's happy now. We're just going to knock these blocks down. So that way we can have a proper walkway. Alrighty. Now that we got that. What we need to do. Is. Uh, let me see. I'm going to need multiple pieces, or multiple water sources, so I'm going to make a permanent water source right here. I'm going to take that dirt, toss it right there for now, put that water buggy right here, boom. Now we have to race all the way outside, let's see if we can run, yes we can run. Run Steve, run! And right here's our surface hole, this is where we're going to... Kind of make a tower coming out, as you will see. And I say it's more like a tube than a tower. Okay, and I don't want no ugly stuff on the top of water showing any mess. So we'll get it from underneath here. Wow, that is a drop. That that really is a drop down there. Wow, look at that. Can't see the bottom. Hmm. Maybe an idea for an underwater base or something of that nature. Could be an idea. Could be. But we'll save that for another time. We're going to race down here again. Come on, Steve. Haul ass. Come on, Steve. I know you can run faster than that. There you go. No, you're not running yet. What the hell? You are such a slow ass, Steve. You need to pick up the pace, man. We're going to toss this right there. Boom. Got an instant replacement water supply. And, uh, should I, should I, should I, should I, should I, should I, and what I'm referring to is we need wood. We need wood to make signs because we got to have signs to make stop points, air gaps, so the zombies aren't drowning themselves going up the tube. And, man, I hope I have enough wood for this. If not, I'm going to feel very, very stupid because this would, like, make it seem like I was not prepared at all to do any of this. Ha ha ha. He he he. And we might. We just might. Did I have an axe in there? No axe because I was going to... Hmm. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm with you guys. He ho ha. Okay, can I do it with a pick? Yeah, I can do it with a pick. I'm going to take this with me. So that way we got it to use down there. Oh, it's getting dark. Don't like this. Don't like the dark. I know it makes those guys, the villagers nervous, those guys. Let's see, can I lay down yet? No, I can't. It's not nighttime. Dang it. Well, on that note, though, I did watch, uh, by the way, this is being recorded to you guys last night, to me right now, tonight, <laughs> on Sunday evening. Uh, just got done watching Bethesda's E3 conference, and oh my god, I so can't wait for Fallout 4. Man, that is a title. I have been long waiting for it's been a long seven years but oh my god that game 
And I am not at all disappointed or upset that it's coming out, ex you know, for only current gen systems, no 360, no PS4. Uh, for lack of a better term, and I know some people are going to probably hate me for this, I'm kind of happy. I'm kind of happy it's not coming out for those systems because it looks so phenomenal. Oh, you just would not believe. If you haven't seen the conference on it yet, do so. You will not be disappointed unless you don't own an Xbox three C or an Xbox One or a PS4 yet. If you if you don't, uh, yeah, you're 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 gonna you're 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 gonna cry. You, you seriously, you will weep. You will weep tears forever <laughs> because that game just looks amazing. That should be enough sticks. So yeah, I uh, there are going to be some sad people in my life. My wife will be one of them. Uh, she's already made the determination that she's probably going to become a Fallout widow because she's going to lose my backside to that game as soon as it comes out. As much as I hate to say it. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to toss a sign there. I'm going to leave it blank. We're going to toss a sign right there. going to leave it blank. Going to toss a sign. Can he reach it? Yes, he can. Right there. And we're going to toss a sign right there. Leave those blank. Uh, now for the water dumpage. We are going to dump water there. Now this is going to cause or be some consistent running back and forth. Toss water there. Toss water there. And this is going to act like an elevator for the zombies. Okay. As you see, I don't, I'm not worried about drowning at all. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Pop right back there. And what it's going to do is it's going to continuously take them up. Now the last, uh, the zombies up that is. Now the last I knew, um, 21 blocks from the surface you have them land on. It's either either 21 or 22 if you want them to drop dead. If you want them to die on impact, 22 and above will be sufficient enough to do it. So, considering I want this for XP, I just want them really, really hurt and bad. Not necessarily killed. We are probably going to take it to 20 above ground. Or 20 above the, above the, what I would call the drop slab. Because that's what they're going to land on is a slab, you know, something underneath on the bottom. And I'm going to kind of box them in with glass so that way I can see when they're there. But if that becomes an issue, if that glass becomes in my way or potentially too breakable too often, and I have zombies spawning out of it, like, all the time, then that'll go away and be replaced by just a standard block. And I'll just look for legs. Because <laughs> pretty much what you'll be doing is swinging at the feet when it comes to something like this. Where are we at on time? 14 minutes. Oh my goodness gracious. I hope I have enough time to get this done. Because I would really like to see this finished. And I'm sure lots of you would too. Oh no, no, no. I put that in the wrong spot. No, gosh dang it. Okay, we're going to do this the easy way. Kind of, sort of. Because seeing how we're so close to the top and I was up there bobbing when I did that we will come up here and get rid of that one drop that there drop that there 
And yep, picked it up. Very good. And more than likely what I'm going to have to do, maybe, I don't know, I'll probably have to continue it down here, is literally count the blocks going up, build a tower up here. Oh my goodness. Yep, we're going to have to do that from, so there's no way out, unfortunately. We're going to have to race around back up top again. Sets a box in place. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut down this pretty flower. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Doesn't have to be pretty, just has to be. And okay, we're at one, two, three. Excuse my counting. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, and 20. Alright, let's see if he can hit that bucket. Woo! That was a nice drop. <laughs> And we're going to race up there, and we're going to do the same thing to the other two. Now that we got our height set, for the most part. We know exactly... Wow, that was some lag in the sound. We know exactly where we got to get up to. too high. Alright, not far of a drop. There we go, no damage. And considering the time restraint, if this starts getting too long, I'm going to have to edit it down. Just do the important parts. Because I'll be running this water all the way up, just like you see me do it. Just, I'm going to just have to cut some stuff down for this, I guess. Alrighty, now that we're, we got the main tower put together and water going all the way up the top, in case you're wondering why it's extra wide right here, is because, well, I had to climb up one way or another. This will probably also be my way down. If not, I'm just going to rip it apart later. But now, you're going to want to start boxing this all in. And getting it over, move over a little bit. Generally, I generally don't go too far. Really, I don't. Because there's a... I mean, you're, you're going to have water flowing right here on top. Because... Of course, as the zombies push up, they're going to be searching for air. They're going to come up top. They're going to get pushed this way. Whoa, I almost went right over the edge there. But that's the direction you want the zombies to go in. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to go that way right now, my darn self. But we're going to box us in. Oh. We'll grab that. And considering they're not coming up with any uh, SPS 50 on. Ah, oh, jeez, come on. Gonna have to put a roof on her. And boom. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a tube straight downward. And then make a platform for them to land on. 
Now, what I generally do is this right here, because this is how I'm going to get out. Oh, geez, that's right. And right before, let me grab that up so I'm not getting pushed off the side. Right at where you want the entrance, you're going to want a sign right there, because you don't want water going down that way. You just want it to push them over the edge. Like so. Now, I'm going to fight the current. Fight the current. Drop down. And I will meet you uh, back up top. Oh, back on the surface. Oh, my goodness gracious. Now we're back, but looks like we got a building inspector hiding out over there. Let's just hope he ignores us. If all else fails, water's right there. I'll just lead him to it. You know what they say about creepers. You can lead them to water, but you can't make them go boom. But, here we go. I am going to build these up somewhat the similar way I did before. I'm hoping this is about right. I hope my eyeballing it was correct if not i'm in for a world of hurt because this is going to be a pain in the backside to rip down and put back to uh, put back up but moved yeah it looks like i'm gonna be kind of right but we're gonna do this all the way up there we go and I already got the sign up I think <laughs> uh, in order to keep myself from dying yeah we're gonna do that real quick and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ride the water down it's probably about the best way to do this oh shoot oh shoot oh <laughs> Oh, talk about saved by the bell. Or saved by the waterfall. One of the two. Alright, there we go. That should stop that. There we go. Oh, out of rocks. There we go. And I think we hit top. Yes, we did. So I'm going to bang those away. So that way I can build up there, there. And I'm going to probably have to, wait a minute. Did I? Yes, I did. I still left those there. So I got to get rid of those too. Oh, shoot. Not again. Oh. This is just being a pain in me backside. With that creeper around here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get the walls up as high as I can. Fix the damage I did. Which I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. There, that'll take care of that water. Let's go into creep mode. There we go. All right. Fix that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is put the sign back there. And I should have thought about doing this in the first place. Let's just take it up here. Hop up here. ball right here and boom we can hammer our way down and I will see you well, here shortly maybe no I still got to open up the bottom here there that there, that there, and that there. There we go. 
looking mighty fine. All right, now we're down here, back down here. Now we got to do our water. Because the water is what's going to be pushing the zombies up the, up towards the tube way. And in turn, they'll be going up and down the other tube. And that's where we kick them in the feet and kill them. Alright, now that we got that, I'm going to start taking off torches very, very carefully. I do not want to break this thing. We're going to take the back torch off last, so that way we can get a running start out of here, if necessary. Okay, maybe not the back torch, maybe that torch. Okay, don't care if I lose it. Don't care if I lose the torch. Happy to lose it. Alright, that spawner is rolling. We're just going to close her up. And head up top. Now, soon enough, they'll be pushed up, or pushed against the wall. Go up to, go up to the top. Get pushed over to this side. Fall down here. And we just cut their legs off. I can hear him. Now, what I like to do, especially when the spawner's this close to the surface, is, and, well, this close to the surface as in there's a surface outlet, like right here, the way this one is, is I'll build a nice little hut. Granted, this one's probably going to look like crud, because I've got limited materials right now. Oh, he just fell. Not hard enough to die, but easy enough to kill. Booyah. And that's how it's done, folks. That's uh, that, that's the way I do these. That's the way I've always done them. Can't recall whose video I've seen to show me how to do it like this. But I find it's a really great, easy way to get XP. And it's just, it's good old family fun there. You stand there, and they'll just drop all day for you. And then sometimes, I'll even add uh, chests in them. Or in, like, areas like this. Oh, two of them. Beautiful. Three. And they'll just drop like that all day for you. For people who've seen this before, I'm sure this is nothing new. For others, well, you never can tell. And you can always, like, box all this in if you wanted. I just kind of leave it as is. It kind of reminds me of, a, of, you know, maybe a deco art piece or something like that. But, I'm kind of leery this video is going long. I know I'm going to have to cut it up. It's, I'm really not into editing video my well, specifically my minecraft videos let me grab some gravel to put on that or put there i think i'm just going to do a, a standard cobblestone floor grab some gravel for the outdoors walkway but that's going to be it for this video if i if due to editing problems, I, it runs a little long. I don't know until I go into editing. I apologize for that. But at least, you know, that part you guys got to see. To me, it seems kind of boring because I've made more than my fair share of those drop balls. Or drop, yeah, fall, drop deads, whatever you want to call them. But, uh, oh, I did have an axe on me. Darn. Oh, yeah, and... Gunpowder from a zombie, or from a creeper that went to tail me. He ended up dying. Uh, he ended up having to edit that out. I'm, I know I will because it wasn't that interesting. Matter of fact, just for a short clip, here, here's the zombie, or not the zombie, but the creeper, or yeah, creeper. Ah, names I tell you elude me.
Come on, Mr. Creeper. Come on. Come on. Come on, Mr. Asshole. Thank you. So, now that you got to see that, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit, throw a door on it, It's grab everything from downstairs, which mainly was just uh, the workbench. And yeah, you can hear those guys in there. They do not sound happy. Oh, and they are so stacked up. Look at that, folks. Just XP all day, and I can just start enchanting like crazy. So, with all that being said, I am Crow and Black 2008. You have yourselves a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, whenever you're viewing this. I will talk to you in the comments. Catch you in the next video. See ya. I am out of here. Night. Betty bye time.